Hi everybody, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. Today's video is going to be all about how I created these, which is a, I think, a very elegant vase. And I'm gonna call it Mermaid Cove, but you might see other things, but I think this very stunning piece of acrylic fluid art and there's a lot of movement. So the, the purpose of this video was for me to test the Arteza, uh, a pouring medium, which we're already mixed up. And all I can say is they are very forgiving because I don't know how to mix up my own yet. I've not really tried it. And for somebody who's quite uh, nervous about doing it until I understand it all, I thought I'd give these a go and the forgiveness. So this had three different layers on it. Images changed it. This had probably two uh, images until I was happy. And they have all dried beautifully smooth. There's no cracking. The colours are still vivid. I am going to wait another more, another more week, one more week until I resin them. But for the professional people out there, I apologise for my skill levels, blah, 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 levels at acrylic fluid art. However, these products are amazing. My only wish would be they eventually come in bigger sizes. Anyway, I'm Sharon. I'm digressing. Uh, I hope you enjoy and remember to click on the coupon below if you're interested in purchasing some of these. There is a little 10% off coupon code. Anyway, thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments are always welcome. Pop over to my Facebook group where you can showcase your art and hopefully you'll inspire other people the same way we potentially will inspire you. And if you do want to purchase any of my uh, art or some treasures, pop over to my Etsy stores. There might be something you'll enjoy. But other than that, let me know if you've worked with these Arteza acrylic fluid, uh, fluid paints and what your thoughts are. And I'd love to know what you think of these pieces. Much love and I'll see you on the other side of this video. I'm going to continue to explore fluid art. Now, I've got baby rails on. It scares me, the acrylic one. So I'm going to use these products, the Arteza. Now, I did use some a couple of weeks ago and I really enjoyed them and I was limited to the size of my vase because I'm upcycling which I'm going to continue those projects because I love it however I've got this plain glass big one and I've got a whole new set of Arteza fluid art pouring paint what is it called Arteza uh, high flow water-based non-toxic premium acrylic colors for pouring now I think I will go and explore making my own but for now I am going to have a go at making a vase that's going to go in my room that I am currently decorating. So I've got my white, there's going to be a bit of black in there, silver, ultramarine, forest green and sea green. Now I'm hoping that I'm going to get some different colours in there. I have a black canvas that I've had in my cupboard for about two years, 12 by 12 inch, and I'm going to have a go at using that. So basically you are going to see me put the canvas, um, the vase on top of the canvas. I am going to prime my uh, vase by lubing it up with just some plain white fluid out first because apparently all the people out there that's proficient in this says that that helps. So I'm going to do that. It'll drip down on here and then hopefully I'll create a nice piece of art again and it'll be a matching set. Now, in my lack of experience, I'm not 100% sure how much I'm going to need for the vase and this. So I'm going to go with one cup worth to start with and then I can always add more. Or should I say less? So maybe half a cup, see how I go, and then add some more.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the struggle was real. I had a vase that tipped into my composition, I had a composition that I didn't like multiple times, uh, but this is an experiment, so I would never want to choose to waste acrylic paint or any kind of art medium, but sometimes you just have to do it to fight through, get something out of it, and experiment to prevent future loss. So people that are going to moan at me, I apologise. I know it's not most admired and I will improve my process. However, I am glad that I kept persevering because I've come out with something that I really love, both with my vase and my painting. Now there's a lot of paint on here, so I'm hoping that it's not going to crack at anything. And it's very busy, but wow. I feel, and I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like there's a mermaid swimming underwater or like a bolt of lightning coming through. But the tones and everything I love, the movement I love, everything about it I just love aesthetically. I really enjoy it. You may not. Um, it's not a Dutch pour. It's not anything. Basically, I just chuck my paint on there, put my hairdryer on there and tried to come out with it. And it's sort of got an ocean vibe to it or nature uh it's definitely abstract but it's as though pow <laughs> that's all i can describe it anyway top left let's go down oh, i think there's so much depth in there i can see faces everywhere what do you see when you look at this this is the part here I enjoy, that contrast between the blue and the white. Pop! I only hope that it's going to cure. I don't think you say cure, do you, with acrylics? Dry. And I'm just praying I don't drop my camera because that's how my day's gone. And my arms, I can't get off my nails. Now, I know I should have wore gloves. I did. But once I got in a sticky mess, I got confused. Anyway, this is the painting. Now, let's go and have a look at the vase. Go to the top and then we'll go down and the vase itself it's the biggest one i've worked on and i was learning and i did a few things like blowing it and got some nice effects but then i didn't really enjoy it as much and then once i saw my painting i thought right let's go with some of those colors and see if i can get a matching sort of set and i love this by no means is it is it an ocean but because of the colors and everything like that it's going to go beautifully in my room and i just really enjoy it there's a lot of different you might not be able to see a lot of different shades in there some interesting patterns yes it just drapes down i quite like it oh there's a door into there <laughs> so i don't know why i laugh like that it is isn't it it's like a door into the castle come in now i've been babysitting this and just wiping under the ridge and i will obviously keep babysitting that and the painting for a little while and I will resin these but I don't know if you will get to see the finished resin piece on this video I'm just going to go around this side or if that's going to be later but these are Tezza paints are beautiful to work with and they're very forgiving especially for a new person um, I have gone through some tubs already because of my creative process and learning but um, the joy of these and the vibrancy and how they hold, um, so far, I'm really impressed. And um, yeah, I just hope that eventually they'll make bigger pots of these. Um, yeah, for people like myself that don't want to make their own ingredients because they're a little bit scared. <coughs> All right, Sharon, time to tidy up a little bit more. We'll come back in 24 hours and see how they're looking. But look at my work station. It's a war zone. <laughs> but I have had fun, especially now it's at the end. But you might not be able to see, but my hair has draped in it as well. Because once I got into that process, I was just focused on it and trying to fight through the solutions. But anyway, love to know your thoughts. But I'll come back and see you in a couple of days. So blink of an eye for you. Fingers crossed. <laughs>